Uh, hi beautiful people, I just made a video in Spanish and I'm going to make this video in English because I know that there are some English speaking people, beautiful people in the group and uh, I want them also to, to listen to this personal story. Yeah? Uh, so what I was saying at the, in the Spanish version is I was uh, talking a little bit about my my experience in the Camino and why I'm such uh, and so passionate about the Camino and what uh, the Camino um, gave me and uh, experiencing this uh, this beautiful uh, journey uh, brought me. So just um, to let you know a little bit, uh, the first time I made the Camino was 2004 and I've done it with my then she was my wife, now ex-wife. And what happened is that um, I wanted to do... Uh, it was like tourism. It was a, um, something like I want to travel and do something different. This happened after reading a book from Paulo Coelho. I don't know the name in, in, in English. Um, and I started as someone that was doing tourism, uh, something like an adventure, and I finished as someone that understood that I had to make really strong, um, maybe painful uh, for other people, even for me, decisions. So I was aware of so many things in the Camino and I remember uh, arriving to Santiago de Compostela after 30 days walking this is 2004 um, and being in that church and having this emotional ex experience that uh, of awareness of deep consciousness that I had to change something in my life so this was September and two months after in November I moved to Spain alone. I left everything behind. A good and secure uh, job as a teacher, um, car, house, family and my relationship. Um, yes, it was scary. Uh, I had to deal with a lot of uh, internal storm uh, but it was what I had to do it was the best move the most growing self-growing experience I had in my life so this is what the Camino is going to give you and this is the message for you today the Camino will allow you to take perspective of what's happening in your life, of stepping out and looking from the outside, observing and to see yourself in your life. It's like seeing a movie, you see all the characters and you see your character and what he or she is doing. And uh, sometimes you're so much inside and deep in that character that you you don't see a solution to to step out uh, sorry to change to transform so stepping out seeing from the outside is very important to help you change transform take the decisions that you have to take and this is what the Camino give you by it gives you by talking with others, by um, seeing yourself in the relationships that you um, developed in the Camino, how, how you perceive the messages of others, the experiences of others, what can you learn from those, those experiences. Uh, what you hear, the signals that you're going to, to see, the metaphors that you're going to live. Um, and this will help you really to, um, um, to see what's happening in your life, in your real life, 
outside the Camino in a completely different way and will help you then when you arrive home to, to take decisions. The Camino is a, uh, like a transforming tool, a coaching tool, an empowerment tool. Um, if you're in a moment of your life that you were thinking, I have to change something, I have to do something different in my life, uh, in the career, in a, a relationship, uh, whatever. If you have the time and the possibility, go and allow yourself this amazing experience. Uh, we're in, in a moment that, of course, it's difficult. Everything is closed now. Things are starting to improve a little bit. Uh, opening. Um, I had a group. A coaching group the plan for May to do to do a Camino retreat but I had to cancel it and um, hopefully next year when everything is you know when the dust settled down and everyone is a little bit more feeling more secure we're going to repeat it um, nevertheless um, this is something that I would love to be doing always again if you're in that moment of your life that you want to bring something new change move go to the Camino it will help you to gain perspective on on, on that issue in your life um, also I wanted to tell you hope I know that uh, these times for some of us, some of you, were very difficult uh, because of the insecurity, the fear. Some of you lost uh, relatives, uh, jobs, etc., etc. So, if you're alive, if you're seeing this, I'm sending you a huge hug full of hope. Uh, empower yourself. Start making changes uh, believe you can and um, that's it your change starts today and it starts with you believe in that huge hug take care and see you soon bye bye hi leslie hi elaine nice to see you take care <laughs>